I found a video whereby we have um, two different guys that are working on a high tension line and they now climb up and started working without even shutting down this panel before they are doing maintenance. So they climbed up. Before you know it, they received electrocution and all of them were dead. So when we leave home, get into work, we have to make sure that we leave at work as well, going back home safe because our families need us more. You're watching Macoga Enterprises. Uh, to this topic, we are going to be discussing on electrical hazard. This is very important so that while we're working in the field, we get to understand the different hazards or the different things that might occur to us while we're working in the field so that we, we know how to protect ourselves or to set precautionary measures so that while we are done with work on site, we leave site as well safe. Um, this is so that while we leave at home going to work, we make sure that we are leaving from work, come back to home safe because our families need us the most. So we have to make sure that we, we follow precautionary measures after understanding the different electrical hazards that might occur on site, which is very important. So um, we will dive straight for us to understand what is hazard. So I'm going to define hazard on a general perspective or a general point of view which I would define it as a potential source of harm which might occur to a person or property. This is very important. And then also we move now forward to understanding the different types of hazards. So the first on our list, which is short circuit, and the next is um, electrocution. The third is burns as a result of air flash or blast. And then we move to the fourth point, which is fall at height. So we will start by defining the first point or explaining what is short circuit, which is the first point. So short circuit is um, when we have two conductors of different polarities come together, this is what is called short circuit. So we might have either phase and neutral come together or perhaps we might have as well um, two different phases coming together. This is as well short circuit. So we need to understand that so that while we are carrying out work on site or carrying out electrical installation works, we should understand that having two conductors of different polarities coming together, this will result to short circuit, which will in turn damage our property or perhaps cause injury to us, which is very important and mandatory to understand. The next is electrocution. So we need to understand that while we are working in the field, we take precautionary measures like I said, and then also we might have our panels which are live, which are electrically supplied. So we have to make sure that while working on live panels, we take precautionary measures. We know that we have all our cables are all energized. So as such, while we are working, um, using these cables or perhaps doing some screws, tightening these cables to the knots and all that. So where we are doing that, we have to take precautionary measures, knowing that all these um, electrical panels are all live, which we might receive electrocution if we are working on live panels, if precautionary measures are not taken. And then also I, I, I found a video whereby we have um, two different guys that are working on a high tension line. And they now climb up and started working without even shutting down this panel before they are doing maintenance. So they climbed up. Before you know it, they received electrocution and all of them were dead. So we need to make sure that we take precautionary measures. Like I said, when we leave home, get into work, we have to make sure that we leave at work as well, going back home safe because our families need us more. We move to the next, the third point, the third point now, which is air blast or air flash. So I'll define um, act flash as per National Electricity Code, which is taken from 6.6.5b. So I define it as um, during an arcing fault, electrical energy is converted into various other forms of energy. Electrical energy can vaporize matter. This is very important. So this is the, the level at which it, it, it or the things at which it can do, which can change from a solid state to a vapor. When copper vaporizes, it expands in volume and creates a superheated plasma. So we need to understand that. So I move now to the next, which is 
act blast. So as per national electricity code as well, from uh, taking from 6.5C, an arcing fall can generate an, an arc blast. The strength of an arc blast creates, a, ex, creates an explosive pressure, pressure wave that can eject shrap, shrapnel, molten metal, plastic and paint across a room cause severe injuries or death to those who are close to the blast. This is very important. So when we, we, we are working on panel boards, working in um, electrical rooms, MD rooms, we have to take precautionary measures while we are working on site because we might tend to have either the arc flash or arc blast. So we have to take precautionary measures while working on site. And then also the food on our list, which is fall at height. This is very important. So we might be walking um, on a scaffold, on a ladder. So we have recommended heights as per the project requirement. Also, we have OSHA, which have also placed a recommended or the minimum height which we should be walking. Above that, we have to provide safety harness while we are walking on the scaffold or probably on um, a ladder. So we have to take all that into due consideration. Make sure that you put on your safety harness. You might be doing a GI conduit or galvanized iron PVC conduit on the socket, which is a slab as well. While you're working on that height, make sure that you put, put on your safety harness while you're working at height. This is very important. You might be doing drilling, fixing your, fixing saddles, while doing GI conduits and all that, or probably fixing support for cable tray, trunkings, cable ladders, and so on and so forth. So we have to make sure that we take precautionary measures while doing all this work, which is very important. Till then, you're watching Makoge Enterprises.